What's going on guys? My name is Gray and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be episode 19 of Sid. So we are going to get into it right now. But before we actually show off the build for the car, I'm just going to show you guys kind of how the car performs on the drift track. Then show you guys the performance and then later leave you guys with some gameplay so you can determine whether or not the car can or cannot drift. But if you guys are new to the series and don't know what Sid is, this is a series where I am testing every single car in the game of Need for Speed Heat and seeing can it drift. I have 1.7 billion in the game so I'm spending all my money trying out every car in the game to see what we have to do, what parts to put on the car to see if we can make it drift. So if you guys could do me a huge favor and leave a like on the video, I would really appreciate it. Also, if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn the bell notification on to all. By the time this video is up, I think we should be at 25,000 subs, which is absolutely insane. So I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys. It really means a lot. But with that said, we are now going to get into how this car performs a bit. And I'm just going to kind of explain just how it goes basically <laughs> so first off the build with this there are two builds that I was using to actually drift with this car but the one I'm currently using right now is the one that will get you a better point score so as you can see here it is actually very easy to handle and you can go through the drift track almost without using handbrake I do use handbrake sometimes like especially on sharp turns like at the beginning of it but <clears throat> it slides very easily you just need to pull your stick one way or the other and it'll slide without much trouble now four points with this I've been getting above a hundred and fifteen thousand to about a hundred and thirty seven thousand that was my highest score so far so I'm gonna see if I could try to replicate that right now but this car is actually pretty good to get points with which is honestly the best when you're building a drift car because if it's easy to handle and just fun to use and can also get points then it hits all three marks that we are looking for in a good drift car so you can see here I'm just pulling side to side I don't even have to use gas to drift or handbrake and get these points let's see can we hit alright we almost hit 130,000 but that's basically the point range of it I'm gonna go through one last time to show you guys if I can pick up some speed here the beginning part really kind of matters whether or not you're gonna get a lot of points or not if you can chain this first drift really well and get above like 35,000 on that first corner then you know you're gonna be getting a lot of points but again right here I'm just pulling my analog stick and it just slides perfectly right there although that's that is very sloppy but it is still easy to use to get these points so now that we are done just kind of explaining how the car handles and performs I'm gonna go back over to the garage and show you guys the performance parts on it so that you guys can go and replicate this build if you do please so again we're just gonna fast travel over to the garage and again really quickly shout out to everybody in the premiere of this video if you guys didn't know I usually premiere almost all of my videos so that we could hang out and talk in chat while watching the video together just to add a little bonus for the people who have those post notifications on so that we could hang out a little bit more together so make sure you have that bell notification turned on to all but now into the performance for all these parts throw up the best ones that you have obviously because I am max rank it is going to be ultimate plus for the turbo we have a dual turbo charger in here and I found like this one seems to be the best for it now for the engines I'm using the last one which is the 6.5 liter V12 this thing is a beast and the 1200 horsepower is quite nice on it so moving on to the parts for the suspension we're using the super so showcase suspension then for brakes I actually threw on the elite brakes for the rest of the episodes I kind of left the brakes alone for default but I don't know the elite brakes felt a little bit better on this car so I thought I might as well just throw it in there and now for the tires I actually found that the super drag tires seem to be the best I did try all of them obviously but the super drag tires seem to give you enough grip to where you can control the car but also get a lot of points with it and you can slide easily with it. I don't even understand how drag tires work like that, but you know, super drag tires if you guys are going to be copying my build for this drift. Now, clutch, throw up the best one that you have. Obviously, throwing up the Elite Plus. 
for the gearbox i found the eight speed to be the best moving on to the differential we're also using the super showcase differential so that is the build for it and now i'm going to show you guys the live tuning however for all of my episodes of sid the live tuning is the same that way i can just keep the cars on a kind of even playing field so that we can see how they all perform basically with the same type of setup so that way we're just switching out the parts and not actually like changing the full setup so you could play around with that based off of how you feel the car and you could you know play with the live tuning more but for the sake of the series we just kind of keep it the same so i'm going to show you guys right here live tuning is steering all the way up and down force all the way down so now i'm going to go over to a drift track now and just leave you guys with some gameplay of the car on an actual drift race so you guys can make your final decisions and let me know down in the comment section whether or not this car can or cannot drift i will see you guys in the beginning of the drift track Alright guys, so as you can see, we absolutely crushed the score right there. This car is quite good to drift with. I had a lot of fun making this video, so let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think can or can it not drift. I'm going to give my personal opinion because, you know, why not? I liked it. 
I think it's fun, and yes, it can drift. But with that said, check out the videos you see on your screen right now. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I really appreciate you guys so much for spending the time and watching the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Don't forget to leave what car you would like to see next down below in the comment section because I do choose the cars from the comment section. And actually, hold on. I for I'm pretty sure I didn't mention the car's name. It is the Land Rover Defender. 110 i i think i just completely forgot maybe i said it earlier but you know now you can't yell at me in the comments because i threw it in check out the videos on your screen peace